Leaves are changing and the temperature is dropping. This is playoff football. And now that it is finally here, the Vikings are looking to take full advantage of it. All right, we're going to do 10 ankle pops. Explode. Ready, go. First group. Get up. Work your dunking muscles. Good, Jay. That's good. Ready, go. If they're not 100%, don't do them. You're bending your knees there, knucklehead. No wonder you can't touch a net. Ready, go. The Vikings finished with a 7-2 record over the course of the regular season, giving them home field advantage for their first playoff game of the season against a team they've already beaten, Fruitport. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Oh boy. Tegan, I'm gonna get you one time so I can just get warm. Jay's to your left now. This ain't right when you talk here. Um. There you go, there you go. Hit it with speed, let's go. Squeeze! Trent, you're a little slow on your squeeze, Trent. This year, the Vikings are implementing something new to help with this year's playoff preparation. Their name is the Yellow Dogs, and their duty is to simply prepare the varsity team for their next opponent. Get there, Logan! Woo! Am I, Tim? Little cheat that just a little bit to make it work a little bit harder. All right, is that is that the rotation? Is that it? Twelve. Is that it? So four, three, shade five. So red. Uh, you go here in the middle. You got B gap. Twelve, twelve. Fit right here. You're gonna fit right off this butt. Right off this butt. Right here. You're gonna come this way, Gabe. Down! Right up! Good. One. As a yellow dog, you're expected to study, prepare, and execute the opposing team's offense, special teams, and defensive schemes in order to give the Vikings a good look at what they're going up against. You got dive. Down! Get on your horse. Right up. Get on your horse. Get on your horse. Good. Get on your horse. There he is! Boom! Be your own good. For one Move on closer. That. All right, you oh, go sorry. with this A back. Well, you go with this A back. You got B back. Just when they come out of the twirl, you're firing right now. High school playoffs can bring you up against teams around the state you may have never played otherwise. Because of that, the Vikings are trying to add more versatility to their offense. You take three hard we're calling steps Wichita, we're calling shit. against a single high defense. You want to make the single high defense? They can't miss. Yes. Okay, we're going to run one up the seam and one across his face. Oh, shut. Make a miss. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Particularly in passing the ball, something quarterback Aiden Gurdon knows he must work on. Dude, I got to worry on my passing game. It's been dog shit. We got a red call. Yep. We got a red call. I got to work on a lot of shit this right. week. No it's, no, it's just a lot of little things right I got to work on like that. Butt. One thing being just mentally focused. Well, and also, I think that sometimes I just get in that routine of just going with the play, right. and I just Shit. don't even like right. think about it. Or I don't even like really focus on what I'm about to do, you know. Right. So yeah, I need to work. Logan, on that do not get hooked. As the game gets closer, the nervousness of the first playoff football game begins to settle in. But I didn't see they only have two over there, right? Yeah, yeah, so we're okay. Right. Yeah, because any of the Raleigh, whatever, because again, I can still get here because that's my responsibility. Now, if they want to run here, I can get here too. Yes. If I'm too much over there, I'm going to have a hard time getting here. Okay. But in the end, it's about reminding your team this game can be won if you stick to the fundamentals. We talk to them. Or, there, guys, this is we talk to you. You know, about that. And so thing. the other thing, you know, with uh, along with coach, I've been a little uh, this has been a hard week for me because when you play a team that you for the second time in a year from from our I don't know about you guys, but from like I'm talking just me personally, it's been a rough week because you start kind of overanalyzing, watching a ton of film. and You're like, well, you know, if they do this, then we got to do this. And then they're. You know, you just start going down this rabbit hole where you start expending all this energy and losing sight on what got us to this point. And what is that? It's doing the little things really well. 
It's playing with really low pad level. It's playing with not blowing assignments. It's with really good team defense. And like when you let all that other stuff go away and you just focus on what got us here, getting off the damn ball, driving to the whistle. I saw this great. I was uh, going through the film from our game last week. Ben had this, I mean, it was like textbook. We do this red pad drill every week, O-line-wise, where we, we take a four eye and we bury them into the pad. He freaking, it, like that drill on film, beautiful last week. Right. And so why, the way I look at this game is this is going to be a good report card, a good uh, progress report to see where we're at. We've got film from playing them week two. Who's done a better job developing their guys? Who's been uh, a, a more coachable group? Like, I'm very excited to see how that plays out tonight. Steve zoom out a little bit. He's not getting the defensive backs in the shot. Hey! Hey! Aiden! Aiden! Duo red four!
Even though the bells are ringing and the score is in their favor, it was not the strongest ending for the Vikings. Um, there, uh, congratulations on, on surviving and having an opportunity to play again. Okay, having earning an, earning an opportunity to play on this field one more time. Okay. The Vikings earned home field advantage again for next week's game against Whitehall. Stay tuned for another episode of Rise on the Gridiron.